Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Today's video, as you can see, I am in a different setting. I am in my bathroom. I'm going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine. I have had a few requests for a skincare routine. Not entirely sure why, to be honest, because at the moment my skin, and the past couple of weeks actually, since I've come back and started doing this, um, my skin has not been treating me very well. I have a breakout here. I have some marks here from a breakout I had last week. Could be a couple different things. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to figure it out and get it back to normal. But this is kind of what I've been doing recently um, in terms of my skincare routine. Now I have gotten requests to do AM versus PM. To be honest, I kind of do the same thing both times of the day. I have a couple little different things that I do, but they're not significant enough to do a whole AM versus PM. So I'll kind of just talk through what I do differently in the morning while I'm doing this right here. But yes, so I am going to get started. I just got out of the shower. My hair is air drying. I'm in my little robe and I am ready to go. So my first step, and this I usually do in the shower, I just take my I always want to say this is milk, but this is by Glossier. This is their Milky Jelly Cleanser. Um, this is a conditioning face wash. I just take this in the shower, wash my face, nothing too special. This is a good like first step. Now, if I'm wearing makeup, I take makeup wipes beforehand. I don't like using this or like any type of liquid cleanser to get my makeup off. If I do like use any liquid, I prefer like micellar water. So I will use that, but I don't really like using like oil-based products or I don't know, whatever it is that people do where like you use your fingers to massage all the makeup off. I don't like that. I don't like the feeling of that. So I just use makeup wipes or micellar water and then I take this to kind of cleanse the skin. And I did already do this in the shower so I'm not going to do it again. But this is my first step. So next is exfoliator. Now I use the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is like a powder. I want to say this is like rice based or something. Yeah, rice-based powder. Um, it activates when you put water on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this in a second. This is very, very gentle. It's not like a beady type exfoliant. Um, so I enjoy this because it is so gentle and I can use it. I use it twice a day, morning and night, just like with the milk, or I'm sorry, the Glossier cleanser. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So I'm just gonna take this, I made sure to wet my hands, and you just wanna pour a little bit onto the, ooh, that was a lot of it. And then you kinda just rub it in to activate it. Oh shoot, I forgot to wet my face. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. I'm gonna wet my face real quick. And by the way, there's a mirror right here, so that's where I'm looking. All right, now for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna keep running over to the sink, so I'm just gonna use a little wet cloth to rinse off. Typically, I just use water, but I think I got that all. All right, exfoliator is done. Now, typically, well, I would do this before, but I forgot I had this out. This is my little face shaver, my little razor. Um, I use it to dermaplane is what it's technically called. It just gets rid of like the peach fuzz. You just take it and go in a downwards motion everywhere that you have it. I don't really have much right now. I could probably do a little bit right here, but I have this breakout and I don't really wanna mess with it. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'll do it in a couple days, but this is what I use. I used to use the smaller ones that had the head that was like this big, the little like tiny little eyebrow shavers. But um, I saw these at Walmart the other day. Well, not the other day, whenever I went and picked these up and I started using these and I like how much longer the blade is. Um, so yeah, I enjoy these. It came in a pack of three and it was pretty inexpensive, so I like these. Next, I'm gonna take a toner. Now, to be honest, I've never really been a fan of toners only because A, honestly, I don't really know what they do. I still don't know what they do. This one I do because it's something, it's for something specifically, but I don't really know what they do and they always break me out. I've tried maybe like three or four and they just, um, they just don't, they don't help my skin at all. They worsen it. And so I was really hesitant to purchase this, but I read reviews endlessly. I was on the Sephora website for quite a while figuring out if I wanted to get this or not. I decided to just because the reviews for the most part were amazing. And I've heard really, really great things about Ula Henriksen. So I figured I would give this a try. This actually just got here today. So I am gonna be using this for the first time. Um, I will keep you posted and let you know how it goes, but I'm just gonna take this on a cotton pad. Oh, I don't know if I told you what it was called. <laughs> it's the Glow 2 OH um, Dark Spot Toner by Ula Henriksen. I love the color of it. Also, I just dropped it because I drop everything in my life ever and now there's like little scratches on the bottle. I don't know if you can see it. 
that's that i really like the frosted packaging it's so pretty but anyways i took the seal off off camera so i'm just gonna pour this on a cotton pad and swipe all over my face it has an interesting scent i don't mind it Not bad, I like how this smells, um, feels nice. It is a little bit tingly. I don't know if that's supposed to be happening, but we shall see. Anyways, next I'm gonna take a mask. Now, I have this pack. This is a brand called Dermal. I think it's Korean, maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't know what language this is, but it is a milk collagen essence mask. And I actually got a pack of these. Hang on, let me see very well. We get one out. Now this is a sheet mask. Um, I actually haven't used many sheet masks until recently, but I ended up getting this from one of my coworkers. We did like this Christmas thing. It was called, um, actually was it for that? Yeah. Oh no, this is my Secret Santa gift, I think. My Secret Santa got me a pack of these masks. Now it was a variety pack, so it had milk, it had cucumber, strawberry, it had a bunch of like different, um, I was about to say flavors, not flavors. I don't know, there were a bunch of different ones. But I tried this one. Oh, bamboo was one. Doesn't really matter. Anyways, I tried this one, and I feel like in comparison to the rest of them, this one was just... I loved it. I don't know. It was super hydrating. It felt really nice. And it has, I think, vitamin E... Yeah, vitamin E and collagen. It provides nutrition and makes your skin healthy and bright. It makes you feel cool and it keeps your tired skin elastic. I don't do them very often. I just do them once a week, I would say. I ended up ordering a separate pack of just these specifically. Um, I want to say that a pack of 10 was like $9 maybe. So they're not really expensive. Um, they're just from Amazon. I can link them down below if you're interested. I really enjoy this. So I'm just going to take this out and I'm about to look crazy. So I'm just going to lay this on my face. All right, so now that I look psychotic, I'm going to keep this on for 15 minutes and then I will be back to remove it. Okay, so I want to say it's been around 15 minutes. I honestly completely forgot what time I put it on and I looked at the time too, but I just, I can't remember. Anyways, I'm going to take this off now. Cross that and you're supposed to rub in the excess. Okay, so now it's kind of at a level that it's not super wet. Now it kind of feels just like a moisturizer. It just feels so nice. I also like to kind of just pat. Like I saw Jessica Alba do her Vogue beauty secrets and she literally was like beating her face, which apparently is good for it. But that's also a better thing to do in the morning, I feel like, because it like plumps the skin or whatever. Okay, now we're gonna ignore whatever my hair is doing. This is getting frizzy and gross, but next I'm gonna go in with eye, eye balm. <laughs> I was about to say eyeshadow. What is wrong with me? Eye cream. Okay. Uh, this is the below. I wish I could talk. This is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. Finally. So I use this for eye cream and then I have the face one, the Aqua Balm. Um, I don't really have a specific order. I just picked this up first. So this is what I'm going to go in with. But sometimes I use that one first and whatever. Anyway, I'm going to take some on my ring finger and apply under the eyes and over the lid and just move in circular motions because lord need lord needs lord knows i need all the moisture i could get on my lids this dry patch here on this lid i feel like is doing better i don't want to speak too soon but i feel like i've seen improvement in recent days and the ring finger is supposedly the finger that has the least amount of pressure so that's why it's recommended to use under the eyes. Now, like I said, I'm going to take her sister, and this is the Belief Moisturizing Eye... Moisturizing... No, this is just the Aqua Balm. What is wrong with me today? And this, I also like to just pack on. Moisturizers are mi favorito. I love them so much. 
I'm also going to take some up the neck. Honestly, I always forget about the neck. But I know it's almost as important as your face. So I have to get better at that. And I'm taking it up because we don't want any saggy wrinkly necks. Not anytime soon at least. All right, so we are all moisturized. What is next? What is next? I think that's okay. I'm gonna take my Glossier Zit Stick. I can't give a definitive review on this yet because I can't tell if it's really been doing anything. Like, this guy has gotten pretty scabby, it's like almost maybe gone. Um, but I have one coming in right here, so I'm gonna put some on there and then I will keep you posted on how it works on a little baby one. Anyways, like I said, that's a Glossier Zit Stick. I think the packaging for this is so cute. Glossier's packaging, just Glossier everything. I love them so much. All right, and last but not least, lips, because my lips are hella dry, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna take my, I should probably tell you what I'm using before I use it. This is the Laneige. I think, I, look, I, I looked up how to pronounce this brand. I think it's Laneige, if I remember correctly. I did it a while ago. If I'm wrong, I apologize, it's a Korean brand, but this is their lip sleeping mask. And I think I've talked about this before, but it comes with the cutest little spatula. And I'm just gonna take a little bit Oh, I forgot to tell you what my um, morning tweaks are. So for mornings, um, I like I said, I take the Milky Jelly Cleanser and then I also take the Dermalogica Exfoliant. I take the Zit Stick sometimes if I need it. And then I'll take the, obviously I use the, lips, the lip stuff, the lip mask. Somehow I forgot to mention that I also use the moisturizers in the morning, but I use those as well. And I go in with my Glossier Future Dew. This I like to do as a last step, like before my makeup, before I prime. Um, I will use it at night sometimes. I guess I can use it now. This is the, um, like I said, it's a Future Dew. It's an oil serum hybrid. And I'm just gonna take a couple pumps. And I love the way the stuff smells. Oh my goodness. It's not like a scent that I typically am navigate, am drawn, am, hmm? It's not a scent that I typically gravitate towards, like when it comes to like candles and stuff, but oh my goodness, it smells so good. But again, I don't really take this at night. I just saw it here and I felt like using it just for the sake of this. But um, this I typically like to use in the morning as my last step before I go in with my primer. Um, if I'm wearing makeup that day, even if I'm not, I like to put this on because it gives a nice little glow and yeah, I think that's it in terms of skincare. We interrupt this program to bring you a snippet of Melanie doing something in the future because she forgot to do this in the actual video. I forgot to talk about this guy. By the way, if I'm talking weird, it's because I have my retainer in. But um, this is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Hydrating Glacier Water and Pink Peony Gel Cream Mask. It is incredible. Um, I only recently opened this like a couple days ago and I didn't want to use the whole thing because first I wanted to try it, but now I don't want to use the whole thing because I love it so much until I order new ones. I'm trying to save this for a couple days, but hang on, I'm going to put it on so you can just see what I'm talking about. It gives you such a pretty like glass skin effect. <laughs> if I could get it open. So I'm just gonna squeeze some out of the thingy. And then... I honestly, before this, I didn't know leave-on masks were a thing. But... This is nice. 10 out of 10 would recommend. If I can find a link, I'll link it below. But this stuff, the first time I used it, I was like, oh my god. I don't know if like this lighting right here is doing it any justice. Your skin just feels so hydrated. Like, look at this. 
it's also very cooling which i love i love that cooling sensation okay that was it just wanted to show you guys this little product um i'm gonna find it online and order some more and link them down below update i found it and it only costs 4.29 at ulta four dollars and 29 cents for this this is like namvo level if she hasn't tried this she needs to get on it and i need all of you to get on it too because it's so nice and it feels so nice it's like your skin feels like plump and like supple and like healthy and i just said like 10 times i don't know how i forgot to talk about this in the actual video i i don't know but i'm glad that i remembered it comes like this it's six ounces i have no idea how big that is i'm terrible at measurements but yes that's what it is i don't know if this is like a known product it has like it has 200 something reviews on the ulta site i enjoy it very much this is like my new favorite thing ever so i'm gonna link it down below um let me know if you try it let me know what you think and yeah anyways peace out back to the video all right you guys and that concludes this video thank you so much for tuning in let me know what you would like to see next um i was really excited to film this i actually like this little bathroom setup i might have to do something else in here but i don't do anything too crazy honestly i do know more about skincare than i used to but i'm by no means an expert and i'm for sure still trying stuff out just seeing what works for me gradually please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you have not already make sure to share this video if you could and ring the bell if you would like notifications for when i upload thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Now I've been asked axed. Why do I say ooh? Every time I mess up I go ooh. Excuse me. It's OPI bubble bath and I don't know if you could see this one. Oh my god. Penelope scratched me earlier because I was taking her up the stairs and I like put her down and it was as I was putting her down that her black cloth scratched me, but I didn't think... Ouch!